Hello and welcome to the channel friends. I'm Uncle Mark. I'm going to do a review right now on these LED headlights, these bulbs. They're an Oxido brand. Uh, these are H13s. I'm going to be putting them in my wife's 2010 Dodge Caravan. See if they make a big difference compared to just the regular halogen ones. Pretty impressed though that uh, the housings are made out of some type of aluminum. They have a nice weight to them, so they don't feel cheap. And they're fairly easy. There's not going to be too much, looks like, no real setting them up. Should just be plug and play, we hope. So this is what the halogens looked like against my garage door. Hopefully it gives you an idea. And I also went for a quick little drive here just to show you what they look like. It's snow time right now. And I'm thinking... I don't know how much whiter they can be because these look pretty white, don't they? These are just your normal halogen lights. Although I've seen other vehicles, you know, when they come up to you and the lights seem pretty bright or pretty white, but gives you an idea of the high beams and the low beams with the halogen lights. Let's go outside for a minute and just see what it looks like outside. So I'm going to be replacing the top lights. Might actually try some fog lights later on. This is on a different road, just to give you an idea. Again, this is halogen, and I thought, wow, this is white. So let's try these, uh, the LEDs, and see how they work. Kind of a cool little thing. And some of the other ones I've ever seen, uh, usually the LED chips are squares. These are kind of a rectangle. So the book came with some product specifications. These are 6000K, the color temperature, I guess, how white they are. Like I say, these are the H13s. Looks like it's pretty simple. Just unplug the old ones, plug the new ones back in, and go. So I did a side-by-side -side comparison here. Factory halogen on the left, the LEDs on the right. Of course, this is against the garage doors. So it really doesn't tell us a whole lot. I can see, though, that they sure come on quicker. This is on the first row that I tested them on. You can see the white on the right versus the left side. Of course, this is completely the opposite mirror image so the one on your left is the one that is the replacement so far this is on a different road now so i thought ah might as well just get out we'll just see you know the difference by blocking one just for color the distance looks about the same which is good so we see actually the halogen were kind of yellowy, weren't they? More yellow than I thought. Let's go to the block the LED to give you the yellowness. You can really see it how much whiter it is. I'm impressed with that. Also, just go up uh, against the snowbank just again to give you the colors. Then we'll swap the other side too. So, just against the snowbank, quite a bit whiter. I thought I noticed just a teeny little flicker, just which I think there was a bit of one, but it's nothing that I don't think anybody will notice. The average person will not notice it. If they're flickering a lot, then you'll need to get the resistor kit that you can get for an additional cost. So I couldn't really get the camera to show them up here. And then just against the snowbank as I'm driving away here, the white is a lot nicer. So this is the old halogen headlight, and actually it already kind of has a black spot. It wasn't burned out or nothing. Looks like the new LEDs are about the same length. Maybe just a little bit shorter on the inside, and um, where the connector goes on is maybe a quarter of an inch longer. So as long as you have a fair bit of space, it shouldn't be a problem. Let's install them. Lots of room here on the caravan. This will be a good time if you can. Give me the thumbs up if you don't mind. It helps YouTube know I'm doing a good job. Old, hit that like button so lots of room here on these dodges they've got this red tab that you have to pull out it's a locking tab so I have to use a little screwdriver to get it to move a little bit of course the van's a few years old already it's a 12 year old van so it's possible that there's like dirt or something stuck in there making it hard to move you want this to come out as far as it can it'll stop once it's it's out I'm going to leave it on the bulb because I think for sure it'll be easier to put the bulb back in with the connector on. 
Oh, normally you don't want to touch the bulb at all. Well, the pack came with a nice set of gloves. I don't know why I'm not using them. Look at this, the uh, ring here. It's like a moisture ring to keep the moisture out. Was stuck on the headlight. So you want to make sure that yours comes off. Just put it back on the old one here. I'm going to reuse this headlight for something one day, the bulb. So I'm going to put them away. But again, you don't want to be touching the glass because as it gets hot, if you have oils on your fingers there, it could cause the bulb to burn out prematurely. So back to taking this bulb apart. Just have to try and get this clip off. And the way this works is, so we move that little red tab, right? The locking tab. I've got it off here. I'll show you how it works. Once you move it back, this, you can press here. And it actually will release the clip from the headlight. Whereas if you have it locked, that won't go down. And if we look on the inside, we'll be able to show you after uh, what's moving. So person should... Um, if it's going to be a little tight, you can kind of move it with a screwdriver, but you'll want to be pushing that tab down at the same time. So I got it apart. Just couldn't show you. Just hard to do with two hands and a camera, but just can push that down and give her a little tug. I'm trying to touch the glass on the bulb. A lot of steps all at once, but it'll come off just like that. Simple enough. Now, here I'll show you inside here this locking tab that I was talking about. And you push down on it, take a look inside here, and you see the green moving. And that gives, uh, should unlock the headlight from the connector. Here's the new one, basically the same as the factory one was, the way it clips on. And again, you probably don't want to touch the LEDs with your fingers. Uh, probably having the gloves on is probably a good idea, although it didn't say that in the instructions. That may be something they want to add in there. Once that's in, push the little red clip in. If yours has that, it'll lock it in place. Yeah, that's all the way in. And then just put it back in the way the other bulb was. I'm just looking at the orientation. I'm just looking the way the clip was before on this one. This red little uh, clip there pointed up, and that's what this one is doing as well. So there's some AB comparisons. Top is the LEDs. The bottom is the halogen. Top's a lot wider. I really like it. Here's a comparison of my garage about five feet from the wall. These are high beams. These are low beams, the high beams again. Well, that's about all I could show you really uh, without you seeing them in real life. If you were impressed with the way they look in the video, you'll really be impressed when you actually buy a set and try them for yourself. I'll put a link down in the description below uh, as to how you can uh, get to their website and order these yourself. If you liked the video please give me the thumbs up if you haven't already you can subscribe down in the corner as well plus i'm going to put a link right up here just above the big blue circle the flashing yellow arrow will bring you to a playlist of other reviews i will be doing on bulbs and other kind of accessories until next time i'm uncle mark saying you and your family stay safe thanks for spending a little bit of time with me bye bye for now please subscribe and you'll get all the notifications it's easy the little dog will show you how Ring the bell, ring the bell. only goes on one way that's basically all I can show you thanks for what's about this I guess well that's about all I can show you uh, 